Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification. I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrance views. That $40 to $100 range, and most of these are a lot less than that. Good number of these you find at the local rack stores. I found this one at the local rack store for $11.99. I pass this thing up all the time. It's like they're probably 40 or 50 percent of the time that I go to the rack store, which is quite often. I'm talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, 1999 release, House of Michael Germain. Duville. So the atomizer lid on this thing reminds me of something from like Independence Day, uh, the spaceship. Uh, it wants to, I don't know if just that is supposed to come off or just the top, I don't know. Because they both come apart, this actual piece right here comes off, but probably this whole thing. <laughs> the atomizer itself is slightly less than average, but it's a nice fine mist. So I'm going to go over some of the notes with you guys and let you know what I think about this thing and uh, if it's even worth the $11.99 that I picked it up for. In the top there is clementine and sage, in the mid there's white pepper, there's, uh, there's some other stuff I can't quite remember what it is, I'll put some of the notes on the screen. In the base there is amber, there is uh, iris, it's a, it's, it's a spicy powdery, somewhat sweet kind of a fragrance. I definitely pick up on the the iris. There's a, there's, a, there's a decent amount of that iris in here. It's like a kind of a waxy type of a thing with, with some of that, that, that powderiness backing it up. The spice, the white pepper is pretty dominant in this and the amber gives it a nice touch of sweetness. Now the sage uh, also can give it a little bit of spice with that white pepper. So it's not a real in your face, real sharp spice, but it is spicy. Um, this is one of those, I would say more cooler weather. This is more appropriate for the fall. It's soft enough that it can be worn in the office. If you are into fragrances like Obsession and stuff like that, this is right up your alley. It doesn't smell like Obsession. It's not as loud as Obsession, but it's kind of in that vein uh, without smelling a whole lot like it. You know, that powdery, masculine, not mass appealing, mature type of a fragrance. I don't think that this is going to be good for anybody under 25, maybe even under 30. Um, anybody over that might enjoy this. It's like I said, this isn't like a mass pleasing type of a fragrance, but overall, I think this is definitely a worthy pickup. I, 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 I'm bordering Hidden Gem. It's not really hidden though because it's always at the rack stores and I'm so glad that I picked this thing up. Overall rating, I'll give this thing a six and a half. Reason being, the performance on this is decent. Every time I've worn it so far, I've gotten at least five hours, maybe five and a half or, or, or six. Scent profile alone on this thing. I give it like a six. It's a little bit above average. It's not real synthetic. I don't get a strong alcohol blast when I spray this thing on. I get a decent dose of that spiciness at first, and then it starts to mild back a little bit into that ambery, powdery spice. Slightly sweet. That's, that amber is just really, 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 really nice in this thing. It keeps it from being too earthy or anything like that. Um, and keeps it from being too serious. So because the scent profile alone and because the performance is a little bit above average, this thing is definitely worthy of a six and a half. It's only $11.99 and if you're not afraid of a masculine type of a scent that's not really a safe blind buy and it's only 12 bucks, then go ahead and pull the trigger on this one. You might like it a lot. Uh, like I said, I'm really liking it. I just got it and I've spent a little bit of time with it and I'm really glad that I picked it up. And uh, come fall time, I'll definitely wear this in the public. I would not mind letting anybody smell me wearing this thing. Uh, again, not great for the hot heat. I wouldn't say this is a summertime. I wouldn't even say it's like even late spring. Like 85 degrees is too much for this thing. Anything below that is, is okay. Office friendly year round though. If you're in a controlled environment and you're like in an office, then this thing will work year round because it's not real loud. It's just about an arm's length or so for a couple hours and then it dials back and it stays a skin scent for the next 
three or four hours or so. So um, it's not going to offend anybody. So that's why I deem this as office friendly. Uh, daytime or nighttime in the cooler weather, I would say this would work. I wouldn't say this will work in the winter because it's not that piercing, it's not that sweet, it's not that loud. But overall, it's a good fragrance. It's a good pickup. I do enjoy wearing this thing. And uh, that's my final thoughts on Michael Germain's DeVille. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.